we, we just broke ground here and what we're going to do the woman you just saw in the video she is moving here she's got her bags packed when I say bags it's a trash bag her bag packed to move here to move from what you just saw to what is right here it's like a promised land wonderful it's clean children are happy and that's what we're doing that's what everyone who donates is doing I'm so happy to be here and I'm happy that so many of those of your neighbors who suffered from the earthquake are now your new neighbors and we hope to put in many more new houses for people to come here so you will be getting more new neighbors Les dit nous pour gagner plus voisins toujours parce que intention c'est mettre plus caille dans zone dans là toujours. So all I ask of you is to welcome them as people welcomed you here and to love all of them as God would love us. This is little Ariel and she and her mom were caught in the earthquake in Port-au-Prince and Ariel unfortunately lost much of her leg. Ariel fortunately has been brought to one of Food for the Poor's new houses in this area and she and her mom will at least be able to breathe fresh air, have clean water to drink, have food, have decent shelter. Ariel is uh, fortunate in some ways to have gotten safe and decent shelter. She has a roof over her head, a dry floor, a house that won't shake in the earthquake if it should come again. Ariel has brought us to visit her house. She wanted us to see the new house that she is very proud of. My, this is beautiful. So, so beautiful. C'est beau. Ah, c'est beau. C'est joli. Caillou est très joli. Oui, oui. This is a, a beautiful house, uh, one of the food for the poor houses in this village. Um, Father Martin here from Nativity Parish in Burke, Virginia, will be building about 100 houses like this in the near future. The walls are concrete block, and they've been finished a little bit on the inside, so they're dressed up. The um, roof is galvanized steel with a wood frame. Um, and there is a sanitation block, a latrine, uh, connected to the house. So the family has a much better situation, much better living conditions than they had before. And what's the cost for this? Twenty four hundred. Twenty six hundred for the house, five hundred for the sanitation. So for thirty one hundred dollars, anyone could put a, a family into decent shelter. We couldn't build yeah. a woodshed for no. that, could we? No. And to think, we just saw just before this what that horrible condition was. <laughs> Now to see this, this is hope.